Why is the comic industry, and in particular some of the creators of people around the comic industry, so obsessed with having firsts? And what I mean by that is um, you take a perfectly reasonable you know, title or, or comic, and you suddenly start blasting, you know, this is the first time this has ever happened. This is the first thing. This is the greatest thing. Um, you look at the, the, some of the stuff they've done with Captain Marvel around, this is the greatest first female superhero. And it's like, it, it, it's, a, it's a weird statement to make. And more importantly, why does it matter? Who's, who's trying to be impressed here? Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, this, to me, always falls into the category of snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. I think there are a lot of comics that go out that are just fine for what they are. They're, they're, they're just a comic, they're telling the story of a character, it's going to appeal to a subset of an audience, and that's all you need to say about it. But at times, a comic seems to have this built-in um, inferiority complex where people need it to be more. They need the comic to be not just, you know, a story, but the, the first story, the best story, the only story. And you saw this a lot with, with, they seem to have this fixation with Captain Marvel in particular around needing her to be kind of the biggest, the best, this, the female superhero you've always cared about, the one that, the, one, the only one that people care about. And I, I, it just, it's an odd stretch because for one hand, I think if I was to go around the world and say, okay, name one female superhero, who's the female superhero you know, I think that Wonder Woman is winning that fight pretty handily. Um, yes, I know Captain Marvel got a lot of attention with Disney, but I would argue if you even went to the, um, you know, in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and you people who have followed Marvel movies first before the comics and really have no context for Wonder Woman or any of that stuff, although I'm not sure how many of those people there are, um, if you're just talking to that audience, my feeling is that Black Widow probably beats Captain Marvel in terms of name recognition and, and all the rest. I think more people kind of know that character and, you know, through the Avengers and other things than Captain Marvel came around later. So it's just weird to me that uh, Marvel and, and Disney, are just, but, but really we'll stick it to the comic companies, they have to continue to push like this is the funniest comic. This is the number one comic or the funniest comic. And I wonder how much this stretches back to, you know, Fantastic Fours, you know, the world's greatest comic magazine. That was always kind of a, you know, a fun tagline that Stan Lee was pushing on the comic. It really wasn't meant to be a, a full bone, you know, angry boast. It was just meant to be kind of a, you know, here's, here's, here's some comments about, uh, you know, here's a tagline. It, it really it wasn't meant to just stick it to people. Um, Stan Lee did plenty of things to antagonize and, and poke at DC, but the world's greatest comic magazine was not really one of them. It was just like a tagline that got stuck there and then never left. Um, and and but in today's world, we have just a lot of this. Um, you know, this is the this is the best hero. This is the one you've been wanting. Um, I wonder at times, and I've done. I know I made this comment about this in another video of. Miss Marvel, um, it's like the huge fan favorite character, Miss Marvel, or the new one, Star, the the reality stone villain that showed up in uh, Captain Marvel and got her own book. It was like, because you demanded it, the fan favorite Star. And it's like, well, okay, one, nobody is demanding this. Two, um, fan favorite, I mean, she's, she's a villain. And Captain Marvel basically punched a hole in her chest, as I recall. Uh, or her, I guess her own chat, I don't remember. Um, anyway, but I, it, it's weird to say the fan favorite hero you've been demanding when the character is a villain. I, that's, that's a strange, again, that's strange. Um, I, I just, I wonder, why, it, does somebody at Marvel or DC, DC does this stuff, this crazy stuff as well. Is somebody sitting there going, let's put on the, the, the hero you've been demanding and then people will buy the comic because they'll think, oh, wow, people are demanding this. I better get in on this action. Is that like who is thinking that way? Because you, you need you should be fired. That is a terrible marketing. <laughs> Nobody is buying it. Um, I just I wonder why this insistence on 
This is the first time. This is the biggest time. This is the, the, the hero of all heroes. You've got to read this hero here. This is it. Um, it It is just so strange, and, and it feels very localized to comics in the sense that, you know, movies will do this from time to time. Absolutely. You had, you know, Captain Marvel, the, the first superhero movie. But what's interesting, because I, I remember getting riled up, somebody had written an article about how Disney was promoting Captain Marvel as the, you know, finally a female superhero movie. And then I realized I couldn't find any Disney marketing that was saying that, and because they were not. The people writing articles about and blog uh, entries about the movie were saying that. And by and large, those people writing the blog entries are the people at CBR or Bleeding Cool or the Mary Sue. Or they're, they're people who are have an attachment to comics. And so they seem to be wired to still want to promote, even if they're not in the industry, they're just covering the industry. They still want to talk like this. So what is it about comics that pushes people to want to make these claims about it's the first, it's the best, it's the biggest, it's what you've got to have right now, right right in your face in this moment? Why, why are they doing this? Um, it is not effective. I mean, the sales numbers will tell you it's not effective. It's At best, it's ignored. At worst, it's actually a detriment. I mean, the reality is Captain Marvel made a billion dollars. I guarantee you it did not make a billion dollars because people are like, wow, finally a female superhero movie. Okay, I got to get in on this. I you, I bet you could pull 100% of the Captain Marvel uh, people going into that movie there, buying the ticket. And I'll bet you could say, uh, have you ever heard of Wonder Woman? And I'm betting 100% of them would say yes, 100%. Um, nobody has not heard of Wonder Woman. They, they, they all know it. Or for that matter, you know, the people going to see Captain Marvel have seen other Marvel films. I, I think there's a very, very tiny percentage of people who had never seen a single Marvel film. Captain Marvel was their first. I guess I, I would wager all of them knew or a, the vast majority of them knew Black Widow. I would guess a huge percentage of them knew the Wasp from Ant-Man and the Wasp just several months earlier. Um, Shuri um, from Black Panther. Uh, a lot of these characters, they know them. So, I, again, it's all kind of silly, and I, I don't know why this happens, but it seems to me in comics that this is really prevalent and that people just can't help themselves. They've got to do it. Do you see the same? So let me know in the comments below, is this me just being crazy? Might be. For whatever reason, I'm, I'm fixated on this topic, this idea of, of, of marketing and the best, the biggest, the thing you've always wanted forever and ever and ever. I, I, I just can't let go of this topic. It, it's just one that gnaws at me inside. <laughs> Because it seems to be so absurd that, that no one is buying this. Uh, but is this your experience as well? Let me know in the comments below. Tell me I'm crazy in the comments below. That is okay too. I promise I will not keep doing videos on this topic. It just is what it is. So let me know uh, there below. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, ask me questions over there. I'll be happy to answer them, make me topics, and I will talk about them happily, gleefully, all those things. But most importantly right now, thanks for listening.